guys, so today I'm going to be doing what's in my carry-on bag, and this is my carry-on bag. Ooh, because I've been traveling so much, I thought this would be a perfect video to film right now, and everything that's in my bag is what will actually be going with me in my carry-on because I leave for Spain tomorrow, and I just got back from Ireland uh, three days ago, so a lot of the stuff is just stuff that I'm kind of just keeping in there that has been in there since Ireland and then I added a few other things for Spain. So this is my carry-on bag. It is the um, Longchamp bag. I'm not really sure like the details of it. I know it's the largest one. I'm pretty sure like the largest like this style one. I will put everything down below in the description bar on the details of this bag because I don't really know. It was a gift from my husband for Christmas, so yeah, um, but we'll just go ahead and get started with what's in my carry-on bag. So when I open it up, it looks like this. There's a ton of stuff. It's really heavy because I'm only taking a like carry-on suitcase and I'm going to be there for a week, so I have just a lot of stuff to put in my carry-on bag so I can utilize the space as much as possible. And yeah, so first thing in my bag is I have a scarf in here. I always keep like a scarf because I find that you can use it as a blanket also on the plane. And it's just a good layering piece for if you're getting too hot or too cold. So yeah, this scarf is like an infinity scarf and it's from Primark. I actually don't think I'll be taking this one because this one was for Ireland. It's like thicker and just more warm. I think I'll just take this one which is like a lighter, flowier, more springy one because Spain's gonna be a lot warmer than Ireland. <laughs> the next thing I have are my sunglasses and they look like this. Ooh, and I got these from the Camden market so they're just like a flea market type style sunglasses. I don't know. The next thing is I have a pair of socks and these are just some really warm wooly socks. I don't really know what style. Oh, there's hair on them. That is so cute, Kelsey. Gross. Um, I don't really know what style shoes I'm going to be wearing. I don't think I'm going to be wearing shoes like with socks. I think I'm just going to be wearing like flats. So I'm going to take some socks so my feetsies don't get cold on the plane. The next thing I have is my camera and this is the camera that I use to vlog too, but I'm I'm going to take pictures with it also in Spain, and I plan on vlogging while I'm there as well. So this is the Canon PowerShot ELPH 13.0, oh no, it's the 130IS is what it says. And yeah, it looks like, oh my gosh, I almost dropped it. Camera. <laughs> the next one is kind of obvious, it's just my phone. I have the iPhone 4S, and it is crapping on me so quickly. I need a new phone so, so bad. It is just, it's not working very good anymore. <laughs> the next thing I have is my iPad and I didn't take my iPad with me to Ireland and I really, really, really regretted it. So I'm going to take it now with me to Spain. Mostly I didn't take it with me to Ireland because I was staying in a hostel and I don't know, I didn't want to take my valuables with me, but I'm staying with a friend in Spain, so this is definitely going with me and I have the iPad mini. It was a a uh, birthday gift from my husband, so yay. Next are just some chargers, so I have my phone charger and my iPad mini charger. Good stuff. The next thing I have is just my camera charger, which is super fun. <laughs> and then going off of the charger, I have my adapter. This is a universal adapter, so it has um, US, UK, Australia, and Europe. But, so I got mine off of Amazon, being the cheapo that I am, and of course, the UK doesn't work on here. Everything else works well. I don't know about Australia because I haven't used it yet, but the UK one didn't work, and yeah, so that sucked a lot, but it was okay because I had other adapters that I could use for my time here in London, but the European one works, so I'm taking this to Spain with me. Next is my passport, and my mom actually got me this passport holder which is freaking awesome like I love it so much first of all it's bright so I can see it in my bag easily and it has little compartments for you to put things so I have my passport over here on the side and then this was my plane ticket to Ireland and then these are all my documentations to get me back into um, England like my visa and my plane ticket and all that good stuff 
And then I have my purse in my carry-on bag, and this is just like a little crossbody purse. This is from H&M, and I think it works perfectly because it's small so it can fit in my carry-on. And when I'm traveling, and you're going to do like a lot of walking around, you know, when you go somewhere. So this is just light and easy to carry. So inside my purse, I just have my little pouch wallet, which is also from H&M. I have my keys to my apartment. I have my Oyster card. I have this powder and this brush from Laura Geller, and it looks like that. And yeah, I just have this for like touch-ups and stuff. This is the Balance and Bright Foundation, and I think it's just in the color regular, maybe. But yeah, it's a good touch-up powder because it does have a bit of coverage, so I like this. And then I just have a concealer in here. This is the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC20 for touch-ups. So last is just all the lip products that I'll be taking with me to Spain. And the first one is this Revlon Just Kiss it, Just Just Kissable Balm Stain or something like that. I don't know, all their writing's rubbed off. Just Just Kissin? Just Kissable? I don't know. But it's in the color Honey, and it's a really nice kind of like nude, everyday lip color. And then I have this Bourjois Lip Crayon. I don't know what this is actually called because all the writing is rubbed off. And this is in, I think it's just Fuchsia or something like that. But it's like the bright pink color. And then I just have a chapstick. And this is the Noye Vanilla Lip Balm. I have no idea where this came from. I've had it like forever, but it's just in my bag. And then I have a CoverGirl Smoochies Lipstick in Text Me. And this is a really pretty... Red color, it's really moisturizing, easy to wear. This is probably one of my favorite lip products. And then I have a MAC lipstick in Plumful, which I've talked about a lot recently. I just love this lip color so, so much. And then last is a lip gloss, and this is the Tanya Burr Lip Gloss in the color Picnic in the Park. And this is just a really pretty pink color. Um, I don't know, I just thought I should probably take a lip gloss. This is a nice pink color. It's really comfortable on the lips, so why not? And then the very last thing that I have in my carry-on is my liquids in my quart size bag. It's not zipped right now, but it does zip. It stays zipped for about 0.3 seconds, long enough to get through security, so that's all I'm worried about. Um, first, I just have my toothpaste. Next is just a face wash, and this is from the brand Simple, and it is the Kind of Skin Moisturizing Facial Wash. And then I just have my Clinique. Dramatically different moisturizing gel for um, a face gel. I have had this forever. I use this to travel with just because it's a travel size and it's good. It hydrates my skin. It doesn't leave my skin oily and yeah. Then I have a travel size body wash and this is the original source mint and tea tree shower gel. I love this stuff. It smells so good. It smells like mint and it leaves your body all tingly and clean feeling. And then I have a lotion and this is the Soap and Glory, the Righteous Butter Body Lotion and it smells heavenly. I love this stuff. Next is a dry shampoo and this is the Batiste Dry Shampoo in Tropical. And then I have a little contact solution. And then I have a shampoo, and this is the Herbal Essence Beautiful Ends shampoo. This stuff smells so, so good. I really like this. And then I have a conditioner, and it looks ratchet, and I mean, I am that ratchet girl. I used this up, and then I just put in, like, the conditioner that I have in the shower and squirted it into this bottle, so this isn't what actually came in here. But I use this, I've used all this stuff while I was in Ireland, too, so some of it's kind of looking a little, little ratchy, but hey. I don't care, it's just travel size stuff, it just needs to work and last for the week that I'm in Spain. And then, being the most ratchet person that I know, I <laughs> this isn't the It's a 10 leave-in conditioner, I use that up. So I put in my hairspray in this, and it's just my hairspray that's in here, so I can just spray it and it's travel size, and hey, you know, it works. It meets the qualifications of the ounce size that it needs to be, and it's going with me. <laughs> So that's everything that's in my quart size bag. I know that you're supposed to put like your makeup, your foundation, anything like liquid. You're also supposed to put your lip products in your quart size bag. I never ever have. I always just keep my makeup stuff in my makeup bag going through security and I've never gotten caught or in trouble for it. So 
I don't worry about it. I mean, if it happens, it happens, and then they usually just let you kind of pick and choose what you want to put in your quart size bag, but I've traveled a lot and used a lot of carry-ons, and I've always done that, and I have yet to get in trouble for that, so I probably just jinxed myself. I'm probably going to create a big, huge scene in security, knock on wood, that I don't. Security is already stressful enough, so yeah, I never have, I've never seen anyone actually get in trouble for it either, so... I don't know, rebel. <laughs> so that is everything that is in my carry-on bag. The only thing I have left is my headphones. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel. And make sure to follow me on all my social media so you can keep up to date with my busy, hectic, crazy traveling life. All my links are down below in the description bar. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.